welcome to another Born Again. Thanks for tuning in. If you haven't already done so, please subscribe. Are you suffering with the side effects that come along with leaky gut syndrome? For instance, food allergies, intolerances. Have you been diagnosed with an autoimmune disease? Then you're in the right place. Today, we'll be making chicken stock slash chicken broth. It's actually really almost the same. Vegans will still give me stick for making this video, but the truth is I'm getting an organic free range, high quality chicken. And as it costs 10 pounds, I can't really afford to get it very often. So really, this is a one off. And this will just give me a variety of nutrients I can't get anywhere else as part of a balanced diet. Before the advent of convenience, before people would just get a sandwich for lunch, societies across the world would put particular emphasis on the preparation of the whole animal. Where nothing would be wasted, especially the bones. My parents are from Poland, and I can tell you I was brought up on homemade soup every day. To add extra flavour to make a really good soup, you need some really high quality vegetables. Organic always has more flavour, so that's the way I go. Also, add apple cider vinegar to help draw all the minerals from the bones. Although I don't always, because it does change the flavour. Bring to a boil and then reduce the heat to simmer for at least six hours, but with chicken bones anywhere up to 24. Simmering causes the bones and ligaments to release healing compounds like collagen, proline, glycine, and glutamine, which have the power to heal your intestinal cell walls, which would prevent any food particles getting through your cell wall causing all the bodily reactions from autoimmune to allergies. One more thing, people tend not to use celeriac in the UK, but it's a great root vegetable that adds a lot of deep flavor and an aroma you can't get anywhere else. This elixir is going to be a great base for any soup I make. My favorite personally is Thai chicken soup, but also tomato soup, cucumber soup, cabbage soup, and to make sure I have fresh elixir, I'm going to put it in these jars and leave it in the fridge for up to seven days. And in the fridge, it should go really gelatinous, like jelly. Do let me know how yours goes in the comments below. Do like, sub for more. See you next time.